California defeats. You guys, let's go. Carlo in the red trunk for you. It's the black shoes. Nate from Escondido, California. To the left of you. Image is stylistically with the jab. It said schooling from Ronnie Shields and then he had a uh, jab from Charlo. Uh, Charlo again. Is he and with Charlo, that jab, and gets something behind it. Charlo is doubling with the one. He's throwing the two. And Charlo uh, has, yeah, did his 18 fights. And he really how with the right hand. Round, but you get the idea right away. He could win this round. round but, you know, he waits a little bit. See, he taps him with the right hand. But again, watch the front foot. It just doesn't help him any. And the concept Dave is not. And, and jabbing technically is going to take advantage of him. When he's throwing the right hand. If, if you look at the posture of John, well, there he goes back to the prop. He's back in a good stance. You know, when you throw, Charlo can do, do some more driving up his back foot with his jab, too. He let the jab and came right back out. To the left jab of. I mean, Johnson's not getting. Uh, Jonathan Davis, Wayne, very good judges from the state of California. In this second round, and here's how height and reach can be a fact. He did good that entire is what makes that power punch. That doesn't mean it's a big bellwether type of a blast. It just and they do take a judge waiting for it. <laughs> another, it would be a 10 10 round. That's a division, of course. The middleweight division is at 160 pounds in front of him. I don't like the way he heads off the front foot. I like the way he came here ready to found unanimous decision in five rounds at the Staples Center. Is it uh, Oscar? There's promoting fighters and at the same time that you can approach fighters and say, hey, getting here and here, and a, and a fighter will instinctively trust another fighter. That's what's happened. But Venue says they got the Barclays Bank to play. Uh, this is round the number three. I can red trunks is a Charlo. That didn't work. I think he's fighting a very smart fight here. Chopping. He's a, you don't need to get hit by this guy. That uh, in many of in a fight in which the fan is in his eyes. He knows exactly what he's doing. He doesn't do anything. He really good blasting. And Johnson dips down and comes in. And, but look at the touches. Now, these aren't insignificant. Get back when finally Joe had enough of that. And he blasts him right back with the left hook. And another left hook back with the right hand. And we're starting to see Charlo get into a secondary level of attack, and that's what he's doing. Double jab to the face, distract him. Now, and it's a good level. He's done on a couple of occasions now. See the way he cuts him off, chase after he cuts him off. And he's well schooled. Uh, well, of course, all of his fighters have the only variance is, is the skill and ability of the individual. I think we'll see more of Charlo. This sets up in front of him again, and he attacks. See, he can decent round needs to be down a level with plus five yeah good point there you go on the outside is charlo double jab the with round five and a skidman black shoes and then the green called himself he's only easy for him not being easy for much up and down should make himself small for now what is five nine and that's the kind of a guy that might have a difficult time deciding to dip and be the smaller fighter for him and uh, what's tough for him to go against here is that as much to shoot at because the techniques in fifth round action. I'm Colonel Bob Sh the Citizens Business uh, Ontario, California. Look at Easton. There's that jab again of uh, Charlo. He just does everything he wants to do. Tried to chop him with that right hand, but missed. He comes with the up instead of trying to chop down on a big tall guy unless you get him in that position, right? Again, another close round for Johnson, but he's like this. This kid's not a. He's just a little bit punching it, misses high. He's reacting to yeah. things because of what's happening. Fights where anyone's been reeling around the ring or wild floor. And this is a technical box, the giving Cheryl on the day by tempo. The world tonight. Got some terrific fights coming in. 154 pound Herman against Carlos Quintana. Herman is an undefeated, he's not a draw, so no contest. Uh, the champion. Battling over a year through the champion in recess, and they have an intro. Right now, we've got Jamel Charlo, the Iron Man. Again, nobody's shaking. Jab, jab. He, you know, he's he's getting lazy with that jab now because he wants to load up the right hand. To score it, Will has picked up on that. So he throws a left hook finally. Yeah. Throws him off a little bit. That's one of the first hooks we have seen from Johnson. I'll tell you one thing. When uh, Johnson cuts a little back to his left because if this guy throws the right hand at him. For that jabbing off his front and jabbing off his front foot. Dave pointed out that right now what Charlo wants to do is unload a couple of times. He should come with more of those off again. Oh, he caught him that time coming in. Far away. And 
Bell's uppercut. That's why they take your uppercut from too far out. And you, your body momentum carries from too far out. You've got to be inside. Here we go. This is round seven. The Colonel along with Davy Boy Bon Tempo. Our principal's in there. Jermel White is the Sean Johnson. He gave uh, another fight. Charlo almost took that round off. But right now we're in round seven. He wants to throw it properly. In the last round, he threw it uh, properly again. Right hand. Awkward sort of right hand punch to the body. They need to work his body to see if that'll soften him up a little bit. This kid's a great condition. Profession because he came ready to the jab in there. You don't lunge, you don't overexpose yourself because Johnson, Charles' hands are significant. He's had some success. Lean shot at the head, and again he misses. That time it goes over the head, and right back comes Charles. Now Charles, that chopping right hand, faint and dropping that left shoulder jab. Charles trying to hunt him down, now. and this time he gets thrown down. He might go right to the point of Dutchman. That is what he did here. No question it was flagrant. And this is Charo fired up. Uppercuts, right hands, and battling back is Johnson. He can't win this round unless he knocks him down. And it's Charo that's got the strength. Johnson starts jarring with him. Charlo's way. Johnson gets frustrated. Get, get uh, many rounds in this fight. And he's very, very frustrated tonight as what's happened in his last four fights. Win around. He makes it. You know, class B, a C fighter fighting an A? Yeah, he's a plus fighter, which is what Charlo is. And for Johnson, it showcased the other guy, defeated guy, and, uh, you know, a, a different type of guy. He would have hanged, been able to hang with him. can hang with him because Staples sent him back in June through the eighth round now. Charlo just continues to land the shot and lift the gloves that right hand was. No cuts. Just a hard beat and reach advantage. He's taking advantage. A couple of rounds ago, Johnson unleashed the uppercut. He wasn't too far away. Too far away, rushing the shot, the frustration factor. What we see here, we can talk about reaching like Charlo was him in. But Johnson, Charlo cuts him off, this is reach. So Johnson. About that, we're here in the eighth round here in Ontario, Cali of the eighth round. We lost a good one this week, and Hector Macho, hate to lose him. Other parts of the world, you don't have that holiday, but it's a big one here in the United States, second only to Christmas. Right hand. It's all been that goes back to his training. Set also been. He's waiting up against the ropes. You should just slide out of there, reset yourself, and then come back. But of course, these guys count him. He's not making many mistakes at all. He can bend. He ducks underneath the right hand of, uh, of Johnson. Jump. Keep your hands up. By the way, this is from Showtime. This is from California, the son of Marty Duncan. Yeah, the referee in that. The former mayor scheduled for 10. He's working hard, Dave. Talk about that it just right if an opportunity comes fine, but just ride it out, get the points. Well, he's doing that, Dave, and that to me shows me an extraordinary amount of maturity for a 22 year old fighter. Of course, this kid's been in the game for about seven or eight years. He started fighting when he was uh, 14 years old, he's 22 now. Of the amateur career that we talked about, and he's doing exactly what he has to do. He's just riding out the storm. And this kid jumped. He's been frustrated in the fight. Special fights that he got. Said a round or two ago, there's a reason why the promoters selected Johnson to be the opponent for Charlo. They know that the guy was going to want to rush him too fast. Undefeated fighter at 24 movement. He, but against this fighter, he really hasn't needed it. But do a little bit more dipping. He doesn't fight. You must say, Dave, there's no huffing and puffing. And uh, while it's not a great, great fight in terms of a wild, free swinging deal, these guys have worked great. I mean, neither one of them are huffing and puffing. We're not seeing many backwards steps. We're not seeing people up against the ropes, buying time, holding up. Very good job. That ball with the jab now, loading up the shot. And that's what he needs to do at this stage. It's just a little early to get lucky with some wild shot that might go all of a sudden stronger than ever. A while. Shook up uh, Charlo just a bit by hitting him, and Charlo just went to uh, some laws in the middle of him. So hasn't been telling him, hey, you're way up front, just cruise now. Because tonight, Jonathan Davis, Wayne Hitchpeth, and Chris Warner, and it's 